Good morning, folks. Today we've got something serious to monitor on the sun. We'll be looking at an interesting solar plasma simulation. We'll zoom in on an extragalactic star for the first time. We'll see supernova shenanigans of science yet again as well. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where we had some solar flaring, but it was minor, and more may be coming. Eruptive activity was low, but that may not remain the case. You recall, we had been saying to expect a rapid and extreme surge in sunspot activity before the end of the month, and here it is. Left side, near the limb, a massive active region is turning into view, and it is young, growing quickly with significant morphology. This is easily our top watch on the sun today, and the best chance we have for a flaring uptick before December rolls around. We'll be watching. Up next, we go to a supercomputer run of just a tiny segment of the sun, still vastly bigger than the Earth, but which uses realistic model inputs and shows how the first subvisible layers of the sun probably interact and move and create the dynamics we see at the surface. They're hopeful that eventually, this will be able to be translated to real-time solar data and predict eruptions, one hopes. Up next, we're zooming in on the dwarf galaxy orbiting the Milky Way, the Large Magellanic Cloud. It's the first close-up of a star outside of our galaxy, even if just barely, and what's most interesting is it appears to have a ring around it. Astronomers are guessing it could be the mass expulsion prior to a supernova, but we actually hear that quite a lot about stars and never seen a single one eventually have its bigger blast. I can't help but wonder if this was merely a micronova shedding event. Last but not least, astronomers are eagerly awaiting a supernova from somewhere else to teach them about dark matter. I wanted to use this moment to remind everyone that first they thought that dark matter was massive compact halo objects. That failed. Then they thought it was weakly interacting massive particles. That failed. So now they have moved on to axion dark matter, which I tell you now is just as false as the others. It is all plasma, dust, and underappreciated electromagnetic dynamics as we said in our 2018 documentary. Folks, my next day out at the ranch is tomorrow, the 24th, will be around midday. We've also got big events coming up at the ranch in the weeks and months ahead. Pick a day, pick a week, come out and spend some time with the observers. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. All eyes on the new Sunspot group. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.